my loves. So today I am hanging out with my youngest sister. And so she's coming along with me. She loves thrift shopping like me. And we haven't been to one part of Melbourne for a couple of years. So I said today I'll go with her. So we're going to go check out a couple of stores, bring you along. I have no idea how it's going to go. With these sort of stores, it's really just you could find stuff, you couldn't find stuff. But I thought I'll take you along. This is Miss T. Hi. <laughs> so she's already got her sunglasses and mask ready. Um, and what are you wearing? What's your dress? Um, I've got this puff sleeve floral dress from Sports Girl. From got Sports pockets. Girls. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Um, Everyone loves pockets. <laughs> um, and just like a tote bag with Jean. With Jean. That's cute. It's a bit uh, retro. And of course, her iconic. Just added as sneakers. Added as sneakers. See, she's got the highs. You can see I'm wearing heels and she's still taller than me. So out of all of us, she's the tallest. She's like 5'7", so I need a bit of height so that we're the same height. Okay, <laughs> we are going off and we'll catch you in a bit. Bye. Just in the car now and yeah, really looking forward to seeing these op shops. And this is the first time I've actually sat in the car when my sister is driving. She only probably got her license a year ago. A little bit late, but that's okay. Better late than never. On State Route 9, one and, a half and this is a bit, yeah, going out to the sort of eastern suburbs area. And we'll have to see what we find. Sometimes you really do find good stuff and sometimes you just find nothing. I'm really hoping we find some good stuff. But my younger sister does go on her little expeditions um, quite often. She actually goes with my mum, which I think is actually really nice. But I thought it would be nice to have like a mini sister day. And later on tonight, we're going to my mum's house for dinner. And yeah, so we're, we're about to go to the first shop. I think we're going to go to Vinnie's first. So this is one of the op shops. We are going to head into Vinnie's and see what we can get. So I always love to look at the brick and brat. I mean, how nice are those bowls? So $2 a bowl. It's just made in China, but it reminds me of like the Mayolica. Is it Mayolica? From D&G a little bit. Too bad it doesn't have more sets. Sometimes I really like eclectic sort of plates and I love these things. I love these little these little plates, little trinket trays, but I always like to get the ones that are not just like this. I love to get the ones that are part of a set, like a three-piece thing. So that's always what I'm looking for. Like this. Oh, that's cool. Where's this from? is made in Japan so like that see how that's a three-piece set and then I think this is another one this is also made in Japan or this one that's pretty too oh that one's that one's two dollars because I think this one doesn't come in a three-piece so little trinket boxes Cheers. See, unique 20 piece set, $20. Look at that. If you had a high tea, that set could be really, really nice. So yes, just lots and lots to really go through. They've kind of sectioned it by color. So these are the like long sleeves. Another thing that I wanted to do was to get maybe some vintage Levi's and then you could cut them. But my sewing skills are, hmm, not great. So jumpers, I'm actually not finding any, not having much luck. Some good quality pieces, you know, like the country road, something like that is just like $5. So as you can see, just lots, all the kids, all the kids clothes, anything from Miss S. Miss S like this. So much homewares this Vinny has, so pillows and dunas and dollies and yeah there's just a lot new kids little fridges fridges kids little yeah, it is a fridge so really I mean even those drawer units are pretty good you could really find some decent things here okay so my sister spotted this Ferragamo bag and 
feeling at the metal feels pretty good. <laughs> it actually came with a dust bag, which so far looks legit, but it is hard to tell. We want to open up the, the buckle. So that, that is quite a good sign because the embossing is pretty good and this tab is not, oh it's in goat. But usually they don't have this bit there which makes me feel. And the lining is origami. Possibly, this is why sometimes you can find bargains here but the leather actually is leather. It's not in the best condition, but... Hmm, maybe. I have to take a close, closer look. How much is it? 50. 50. It's not bad for a designer bag if you wanted a black one. Would you get it? Two. Okay, let's see how it looks like. That's the Ferragamo. Some parts of it makes me wonder with the craftsmanship. Okay guys, so I found this vintage lizard bag and it is 100% genuine lizard and it's $45. Obviously it is very 40s inspired. What do you think? It's in very good condition. I do have a lizard bag that my sister did said, why would you wear this as opposed to all your other bags, which is very true. But I don't know. Something really nice about it. Okay, so we got a few things. Okay, I got a few things. My sister's a lot more picky, but I did end up getting the lizard bag. You know, I'm a sucker. Plus she had a 20% off voucher. Thanks, sis. Let's go. Okay, so we are going to the biggest one, which is Savers, which I think most of the world has Savers, isn't it? Maybe or some sort of America. option. Yeah. Okay, maybe in America. So Savers is like her department store with lots and lots of aisles of goodies. We gotta find my sister something. I reckon she has better luck when she doesn't finish not with me. <laughs> okay so this store is a lot more organized. Definitely notice more young people here and there is just rows and rows and rows of clothes so you really yeah, do need to have a good look around. See, look at that. Rose, rose, rose. And there are lots and lots and lots of bags, mainly ones in faux leather. Funny. And yeah, look, there's just heaps. It goes all the way down there. I think my tip in searching for these bags is to look for leather bags things that are either colorful that you love or leather bags that are made in the 50s or 60s mm -hmm. like the one i picked up in all lizard that was a really good deal because a lot of these are just you know pu or faux leather some of the basket bags or wicker bags can be a good buy as well So you have to excuse this light because inside in here it's red so it's not showing up great but I have just got a purple lavender jumper with pearls and this is very crinkly it's making me look so pale but it's just another pale silky pair of shorts yeah jumpers are jumpers okay shorts I'm not loving but you gotta try. Okay, it's really hot today and I'm feeling really, this is not very flattering, but this is a full leather skirt. You can tell because if I flip it backwards, the back of leather is suede. So value wise, this is a good skirt. Um, it's even got pockets, I believe. Does it have a pocket? Yes, see, it's got a pocket, but it does make me look kind of wide. I'll ask my sister. <laughs> okay, so my sister's got a pair of. Hold on. 
Change rooms are closing in 20 minutes. Okay, so she's got a jumper which is tucked in. Let's look at the front. I quite like the jumper. But the jeans, turn around to the back. The butt looks good. It's a bit more of a wider leg jean. But I think she's not sure about the front bit because it can make you look appear a bit wider. Thinking about it? Maybe not, Maybe not yeah. Okay, so this one is definitely more flattering. It's a bit low here. Probably want to wear a singlet. But I love sunflowers. I wonder if it's just a little bit short. I mean, makes you look younger, but I don't know if it's too short. I'm wearing my skirts a little bit longer now. Let me ask my sister, but I do like sunflowers. Okay, so really no luck <laughs> in savers. And, but my sister did find some little trinkets, some acrylic, brand new photo frames and yeah, some trinket trays, which I think are really cute. Shell, are they all shells? Yeah. Yeah. So I got nothing. I think, no, I was going to, I have a hat similar, so I don't need that. And I'm going to try this. My sister hates it, but let's try and do something with it. Okay, let's go. So my sister actually told me before she came and picked me up, she popped into a local Salvo's and she found this Lacoste cute grey knit. I think that was a really good find. That is super cute. Salvo's, how much was it? Nine bucks. Score. Yeah, you can see it's original because look at the look at the uh, tag. So funny, it's like size 16 and it's like really more like a size 10 or 12 in today's equivalent. Yeah, that's cute. So there you have it, guys. That is our quick uh, thrift vlog. I will show you all the stuff we got when we get back to my mum's house. But we didn't pick up that much. But it was still good, as I said, to spend some sister time together and just to check it out. But I think next time we're going to try to check out stores that maybe aren't visited as much. My sister kind of knows a bit more about that. If you like this come thrift shopping with me type of vlog, give this video a thumbs up. I told you this year that I would take you thrift shopping or even vintage shopping more. So I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, I just think one goal of mine this year is definitely to buy more pre-love, go op shop shopping. It was something that I used to do so much more. So I really want to get back to it this year since, you know, things are opened here in Melbourne. So yeah, I hope you like it. Have a wonderful day or night. Stay safe guys. Big kisses. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Okay guys, it is, it looks much better than I thought. So the jacket is too big. See what I mean by it's not bright, bright green. Definitely has the shoulder pads. I love this neckline. It's just so elegant. So what I've paired it with is my Dior Quake belt. The jacket is too loose. So what I did is I just moved it back. I'm not sure if you can see. So the back just kind of looks like it's pleats. It's a bit hard to see. It's a bit hard to see, but it doesn't look that bad. It sort of just looks like it's pleated at the back because it doesn't, otherwise it is too big. The arms ideally is a little bit loose, but I could easily get the arms taken in if I wanted a more tailored look. And look, I could get the whole thing taken in. And even if I invest like $50 or $30, the jacket looks so much more expensive than it is. I've paired it with, this is a chill skirt. It is a bit Dior-esque, but the weight is really nice. This is just from a local, you know, boutique near my place. Oh, I'm just, it's actually pretty warm at the moment. I've still got my mim earrings on and look how well it goes. It's very ladylike with my lizard bag and that jacket. Oh yes, and I'm wearing Dior shoes and that is what I got. So yeah, you can find some amazing things going thrift shopping, op shop shopping, and it's so inexpensive. So I think for the whole day I spent, how much was it? 20, 36, 50, maybe 60, $65. And I got some really unique pieces. So that is it guys saying bye again. If you liked this outfit and what I got, give it another thumbs up. Speak to you soon. Bye.